And look at them pouring out of here, Dad. Look at this. Holy cow. Yeah. They're still coming out. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's been like three months since I've posted. Uh, a lot of things happened. Um, sold the Mako, for one, um, and I got a new boat. And so, haven't done a lot of spearfishing recently. I've got another video coming out that sort of highlights all of 2022. Didn't do a ton of spearfishing, as I probably hoped, because the weather was sort of crap this year. But um, I do got sort of like a little highlight reel coming out. And... Uh, some photos of my dog with all the fish that we caught as like, like every time he was in it. So it's kind of cool, but, um, yeah. So this video though is about a new boat I got and it's specifically for duck hunting. <clears throat> this is a 1996 Widgeon duck boat. It's actually made here locally in Tallahassee. I, I had one prior in about 2017 and I sold it, sadly. Had that one made new when I got back from the military and sold it because I wanted I wanted a gator tail and I wanted a bigger duck boat and stuff. And then realized I can't really get where I want to. So I've been searching and searching and searching and actually found this widgeon in uh, Perry, Florida. So it's a little different. It's different than his the widgeon's newer models. This is the old model. But he no longer builds widgeon duck boats anymore. So I've heard great things about this one. I've already hunted like five, six times. I've just shot canvas backs already. Mojo stuff. You already see shells in it. So we just got it running uh, the way we wanted. Got some, got some lights installed on the front. You can, you can flare them out if you wanted to, too. But... This is it. Just a little 9.0 beaver tail. It would help if you have the kill switch in. Nothing fancy. But yeah, that's it. If you guys want to see more videos of it, let me know. This also is the original style of Magic Tilt. If you guys ever had a Magic Tilt trailer, this little handle right here. You smack that like that. This might go flying up though. I don't know if I can do this two-handed. But just imagine... This whole t trailer goes like this, so you can get into low water. So yeah, that really helps you for getting into like skinny water or boat ramps crap. And as you winch, winch the boat up, the trailer slowly starts to go this way and sets the boat back on the trailer. So that's what Magic Tilt got famous for. And then they no longer offer that in trailers, which is the stupidest thing because that's really nice. These tires here are way too big. <laughs> kind of make the trailer look huge. Those are from my old Mako uh, trailer tires. And the ones that were on there before were just crap. These are crap too, but we will be getting new tires soon. It's just, this is all we could, could do in the interim. But, yep, that's it. If you guys can find yourself an old Widgeon duck boat. These are, these are fun little boats, very, very sturdy. They're actually pretty solid. I won't say they're the lightest fiberglass boat, but it's just straight fiberglass, foam. There's foam up here. And you've got foam underneath the gunnels. And then back here, there's foam here, under here, and foam on that side. So, 
Yep. That's it. Catch you in the next one.